We're also beginning to hear from the families of the 11 people who were killed on Saturday. And among them was Dr. Richard Gottfried. He was a 65-year-old husband. He's a brother, a father, a dentist. He was known to many here as Dr. Rich. He often volunteered his services. And he was on the verge of retirement when he was gunned down. His family says his generous life will not be overshadowed by his senseless death. We sat down with two of his sisters last night. Growing up, he was the only boy, so he had three sisters that he had to deal with. And he was your twin. He was my twin. It's just um, unimaginable that somebody that was so full of life is gone in an instant. Bonnie, you are shaking. I know. I'm falling apart. <laughs> it must be such a shock. There aren't even words to describe where how I feel. I'm devastated. I mean, he was my baby brother. He touched a lot of people. And in all areas of his life. And that just speaks to who he was. He loved his wife, he loved his family, and he loved life. Family was very important. Family first. Mm -hmm. Dr. Richard Gottfried was at the synagogue with his youngest sister, Carol, when the shooting began. Carol and our rabbi and two other congregants went into a utility closet that has a steel, steel door, door, and they just stayed in there. And one of the older congregants, when he no longer heard gunshots, he opened the door, but the gunman was there and he shot him, and that's who died at Carol's feet. She is still too shaken to talk about what happened, but her sister say she told them. He walked in and said, all Jews must die and open fire. They didn't have time to react and they were just gunned down. How do you even begin to absorb that? I don't think I've even absorbed it yet. I mean, there's just so much hate in this country, and it needs to stop. Hate, intolerance, that's not who he was. It's not who I am. It's not who I am. Had you felt afraid before this? No. No. I can't live that way, and I can't hate him either. The shooter. The shooter. I can't hate him because if I do, it will um, eat me up alive from the inside out. To have him murdered, because that's what it was, is really hard to, to, to take. A really wonderful person was taken from us way too soon. It's not easy for you both to be here talking to me. No, it's not. No. But I know you wanted to for a reason. And the reason is because you have a job to do and you're going to be talking about him anyway. So the things that you say about him, I want them to be who, who he is. And he is, <laughs> was the kindest most loving, caring person.